You know what? I'm in a foul mood right now. I'm dead tired. And a foul mood is the perfect mood to judge some art. But what am I talking about? You see this game? This game is called Netrunner. The card game. The card game. If you play this game, you know this is the best game in the world. You already know that. If you don't play it, stop hating yourself, man. Go, buy it. Or, or hell, don't buy it. You have it on the internet. It's free of charge. Go and try it. Your life will change. I guarantee it. Or your money back. Okay? Just try it. It's an awesome game. If you like cyberpunk, if you like card games, you should give this game a try. No. What's, what's, this, what's, what's all of this business about comparing art? Well, you see, a new core set for this game was just released recently. And they changed some art. You have the old cards with the old art, you have the new cards with the new art. And since I'm in such a foul mood today, I'm so tired, I wanted just to compare and bitch a little bit about it. Because, well, I like bitching when I'm tired, okay? Now, for the uninitiated, in this game you have the hackers, called the runners, and the corporations. The hackers are trying to hack the corporations, and the corporations are trying to trying to push through their agendas. Let's let's say that. Yes, they're trying to push through their agendas. Now, I'll first focus on the runners. I won't be doing the uh, the whole nine yards with both the corporation and the runners because it'll take too much time. It'll take too much time. You'll get bored. I mean, I'm not gonna t guarantee that you won't get bored now, but you definitely get bored of that. Okay. So I'll do the runners first. I'll do you a solid. I'll do you a solid. I'll do it in two parts. First the runners and then the corporations. Now the runners. There are three factions of runners. The Anarchs. They're the types who are hacking because they want to bring down the system. The evil system. The evil corporations. They want to bring them down. Next one are the criminals. The criminals are in it for the money. And the last ones are the shapers. They're in it for the art of the hack. They just love to hack. Who? Who can blame them? It's interesting. Now, first up, anarchs. This is an anarch identity. This is an anarch. Reina Roja. Ain't she something? Look at her. Powerful, standing there. Oh. Awesome. She's awesome. I like this art. This is the old art. This is the new art. She's kind of anemic in this one. And I don't like it because she's anemic. They took the red right out of her. Look, full of life. Look at the intensity of the stare. Oh, she's gonna fuck you up. This one is kinda, ah, uh, mm. might have to take my iron supplements. Like the original better. Next up, data sucker. Now this this is a program that sucks data. Watch, I have wait I, wait wait wait. I have a teach aid here. Ah, see that there's a data sucker. It sucks data right here. There we go. Teach aid for the win. Now this art. This art is pretty good. You got the whirlpool effect. It's, it's sucking in the data. It's awesome. There's pretty colors. There's a little bit of a purple here. It's good art. But, but, it's not specific. Okay? This could be anything. This could be a black hole of data. It could be a virtual toilet. It's a lot of things. It can be a lot of things. Now look at the, the, the original, the old one. Ah, oh, now that's a data sucker, right? Look at it. Wings and everything. Data suckers have wings if you didn't know. Okay, trust me. This is far more of a sucker, isn't it? This is a data whirlpool. This is a data sucker. So, mm, I don't know. This is more quality art. It's better looking. But this is more of a sucker. Next up, it's Steam Hack. Now, the deal with this card is you fuck yourself up full of, with drugs, okay? You, you 
you bump yourself full of drugs and it makes you hack better it makes you it makes your hacks really good okay but it gives you a brain damage because you just pumped yourself full of horrible drugs so it kills, kills your brain it kills your brain does this guy look like his brain is getting killed hell yeah look at him look at the blank stare look at the but he's focused he's he's on the edge of life he's emaciated yeah, but, but he has to hack so he he pumps himself full of stim hack and now he can hack better than he has ever had before i really like this one this is the new art what is going on here i mean honestly you're going through a tunnel so what you're hacking through a tunnel okay i can see the face here i guess this is you this is your face and drugs and you're you know you're hacking the system i don't know this one's more striking like oh better get this one or i'm gonna die i'm gonna die of brain damage this one's like whoa hack original is better force of nature two lightning lake next this is the new one much better okay this old boring this new one oh awesome thrilling look it's got a volcano it's saying it's sending fiery death around it and there's a tsunami here so it's really a force of nature however this card is crap this this program by itself is crap but the other is good the art is good yes yes this one's better the old one ugh, disgusting this one good ice carver now this one this one carves ice now if you didn't know ice stands for incursion countermeasure electronics those are the programs that the corporation sets in front of the server to deny you access you have to break ice in order to get into the juicy software uh, juicy uh, the, uh, the juicy server which has all the juicy parts that you want as a hacker okay that's what ice does and this this thing helps you carve through the ice hence it's an ice carver this art is spot on it's it's simple it's simple this here is the ice and look up poof, you guys just boom you're just going through it it's powerful it's forceful good art this is the new art what is this some ice cubes being broken i mean okay i guess but i mean look look, look at the original Whoa. and you know it's like eh eh I guess I'm breaking ice. I'm sorry. This is technically a better picture. But this one's better, better. It's more striking. Scrubber. Oh boy. Listen to this now. Okay. This guy. Well, let's just read the flavor text. Okay. Let's, le let's read the flavor text. They're mindless tools of destruction. Good for little else. Nice guys though. Some of my best friends are scrubbers. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. This guy does not scream tool of destruction. He screams more like art student. Art student doing a project. And maybe, maybe destroying on the side. You know? I mean, look. He is obviously anarch. He has the weird hairdo. He has the piercing and the purple beard, so okay, he's, he's, he's hacking something, he's scrubbing away, but he's more like, oh, uh, uh, um, I, I have to do this, and then, ah, uh, uh, and then, it, it, it may be scrubbed, it, it may be destroyed, I'm not sure, he, he's kind of, I don't think he knows what he's doing, so... It's it's okay, it's good, it's dynamic, it has, it has many colors, it's good. But, 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 look at the original, please. Ah, uh, look at this Terminator-looking motherfucker. This is a mindless tool of destruction. Look at him. He's gonna destroy your business, and he's gonna be happy doing it. Okay? 
This may be simpler art, but it conveys the message much better. This is a tool of destruction. This one, not so much. Next up, we have the criminal cards, and this is the criminal, Gabriel Santiago. Now, this guy, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. One thing they did uh, about with the runners. They don't just change the art, they age them up a bit. So, this was him in the old corset, set, and this is him in the new corset. set. He's obviously changed a lot. Might even change the race. I don't know. Seems far fair skinned in here and he seems really tan in here. But he looks nothing like himself. This one's more detailed. I guess this is a better piece of art. A lot more detailed. In this one, he seems better formed in this one. I don't know. I guess I like Grandpa Santiago here better than old Gabriel Santiago. But, you know, eh, you can choose whatever. I won't blame you. I, yeah, I won't blame you. You can pick the old one or the new one. Forged activation orders. Now listen to this. This is one of the most flavorful cards in the set just look at this look at the picture what do you see what do you feel panic there's a big red sign in the back and these guys are sh these two guys are shouting something's going down something bad is going down all right and look at the flavor text look look as the hysteria in the room climbed higher up the corporate chain an uneasy feeling of joblessness began to sink in into on the lower rungs do these guys look like they're afraid that they'll lose their job. Hell yeah. Look at them. They're blaming each other. Oh, whose fault is this? I don't know, man. I didn't activate it. Oh, I didn't activate it either, George. God damn it. What, what are you saying? Oh, I'm saying it's not my fault. It must be yours. Holy crap. Who are we going to blame? That's panic. These guys look panicked. Now, the art is a bit dodgy. I have this weird cripple arm here. It's kind of small and deformed. And this guy's face. Something's wrong with his face. But the picture, as a whole, is good. It conveys emergency, alert, hysteria. Let's look at the new one. What is going on here? I mean, honestly, does this convey, like, emergency or uh, hysteria? An uneasy feeling of, do you feel... An uneasy feeling of joblessness. I don't. I mean, this guy, he's like scratching his leg. Ooh, I guess these eyes are activating. I don't know. What do you think? Shut up, George. Why do you have to be mean to me? I mean, he's just confused. This guy's doing his job, I guess. He's focused, but he's not alert. This one's alert, maybe. She's pointing to that guy. These chairs are empty. Maybe this is the joblessness. There were people here just a moment ago, but now they're not because they lost their job. I don't know. This art is really good. It's really detailed. And, and, and if it was, if it was splatted on to another card, like maybe, I don't know, um, like eh activation orders, like maybe activation orders with a different flavor text, it could work. Points go to the original. Special order. Not much not much to say about this one. This is the old art and it's serviceable. You got the guy here, you got the you got the thumbprint here, you get the thumbprint, you get the package, you get your icebreaker, you get you you got you got it. Good. This is the new one. It's it's a drone and it carries you the icebreaker. Now honestly, I like both of these equally. I mean this is better art. This is, like, slightly worse. It's slightly worse. It's it's okay. It's fine. But, you know, special order. It's instantaneous. This is like, oh, here's your order. Well, whatever. You can yeah, you can take it now. Okay, whatever. But this one's like, boom. Here you go. I need an icebreaker stat. Boom. It's here. That's the feeling I get from this one. And 
I think this illustrates the card better. Like it's instantaneous. It's a special order. You get it immediately. Feverishly tracking its frustrating slow progress across the Pacific, the package finally shows up hours later. Vroom. I like this one better. Doppelganger. And doppelganger. Okay. Obviously, with this uh, console, it's a console. See? Wait, where's the teaching aids? There we go. Console. <laughs> it's a console. It's a doppelganger console. So it's a twin console. Now, this art is good. It's serviceable. This is the new art. It's a bit lazy because they just made one half of the picture and just mirrored it or whatever. But it, it conveys doppelganger. It screams doppelganger because there's two of them. This past one screams like uh, whatever ganger room. I don't know. Nitrous oxide room? I get it. There's a PC here and there's a monitor here and monitor there and it's like double. Yeah, whatever. Okay. New one's better, I guess. Femme fatale. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Just look at it. Absorb it. Okay. This was one of the most important programs in early Netrunner. It was an icebreaker killer. It's, it's expensive as hell. But it makes one ice trivial to break. Like, it, it, it kills it. It just, you, it's gone. It doesn't matter anymore. Now look at this art. This is the new, the new art, by the way. Look at her. She's like, whoosh, like a slap. Whoosh. She's bitch slapping the ice. Whoosh. No more ice for you, corporation. Whoosh. This is really good art. It's in monochrome, it's in blue. Blue is the color of criminals, of course. It's really good. I like it. But, the original is so cute. Look at her. Just look at that face. Don't you love a face like that? She's deadly. Like, she'll kill you. But at least, she'll be pretty while doing it. I like the old card better. But just because. Just because of the face. Okay? I realize that this is superior. But my heart belongs to the old one. Bang job. Not much to say here. It's Gabriel. He doesn't look like himself. It's the old Gabriel. Uh, this is the old art. He's doing a bang job. This is the new great Gabriel. He's doing a bang job. The old one was like a heist, I guess. This new one's like, uh, like a deal, like an Ocean Eleven swindle, I guess. They're both good. This one's better because it's more detailed and it's like lively, more alive. It's, but you know, you can. I guess I like this one better, just because. Look at, look at this. Look at it. Shit eating grin. Yeah, he just conned her and he's happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asshole. This one's better. Crash space. Now the deal with this card is. Okay, hitmen from the corporation are trying to beat you senseless. So, you go to a friend's house and you crash there. Hence, a crash space. So, this is somewhere inside of his or her apartment. And you're crashing there. Alright? And this is good. This is good art. But, this is the old one. This is the new one. Oh, look at that room. It's so awesome. Much better than this. Right? I mean, if this is all your friend has to offer to you, you better find better friends if you know what I mean. <laughs> this one, look at it. Has the bed, has the pad, has the energy drink, has some snacks for you. Has a nice window with a nice view. Now that's a friend. That's a friend I want to have. Points go to the new one. Fall guy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, look. Look, look, look. It's a resource and a connection. You have a bunch of resources and connections, right? And you sacrifice this guy to save the other connections. Your more important connections. Because this guy, he's a chump. Alright? Look at him. He has no idea what he's gotten himself into. He's way over his head. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? They're like drones trying to... Well... Let's say arrest him. Most likely kill him. This is the new art, and I really like the new art. He's like, what the fuck? And I like that. The old art... Eh. Points go to the new. These are the shapers, okay? This is my favorite faction out of the whole game. Because they're... 
they're artists, they're freaks. They do it because they love hacking. That's awesome. This is Chaos Theory. She's a wunderkind. And then later she's supposed to be a wonder adult, goddammit. Oh well, mistakes have been made. We'll let it slide this time. But look how much she aged up. See? This is her as a kid. This is her as a young adult. Now they did something really cool with her. She has, uh, she had a story through the, through the, uh, what, what you want to call it, the game, right? Now, see this here? This thing here, have you met dinosaurs? That's, that's her console, that's her rig, that's her computer, her PC. That's how she hacks, okay? And during the progress of the game, it got destroyed, okay? And see here, oh, it has an eye patch. It's been fixed, and they incorporate this into the following cards. By the way, both are equally good, and I give you permission to like them equally. Okay, I give you my permission. Modded. Now, the deal with this card is, you take a piece of program or hardware and you reduce its cost, but whatever, you're modding it, right? You're doing something with it. And what is she doing? Look, it's Chaos Theory. What is she modding? Oh man, she's fixing up her dinosaurs. What a storytelling, right? Awesome, isn't it? She's fixing it up. This is the new art, obviously. This is the old art. I'm gonna be honest with you. I like the old art better. Alright? But, I fully admit that this one is superior. Like, I mean, look at it. It's full of energy. It's red, it, it, and it has, it, it's red in the center, and it has, like, these cold tones and uh, uh, at the perimeter and look she's smiling she's full of energy she's fixing up her dinosaurs hell yeah we're gonna go hack man and the old one is like oh i done programmed this and now i'm dead tired and you know this it fits with the uh, what you call it? The, the the flavor text. There's no replacement for a homegrown program. Fed on late, ni late nights, Odie bars, and single-minded determination. Cheaper too. So, the flavor text fits this art better. Okay. It just does because it's a program, and she's making a program. Now, what's awesome about this art is this is the old Shaper Runner, Kate, who was sort of phased out of existence because she was too powerful. So she rotated out, you know, no more of her. But this, oh man, this is the magnum opus. This is one of the best programs a shaper can have. It's one of the best programs in the game period because it gives you nearly unlimited money, okay? And they integrated it here. Wow, that's awesome. She's like working on her program. Hell yeah, she's dead tired, but it's finished. Great success all around points go to the old one test run the deal with this card is you're testing out a new program and then it goes in but whatever you're testing a program okay and this is chaos theory what is she testing oh she's testing out her dinosaur her newly fixed dinosaur hell yeah awesome art once again warm in the middle cold on the perimeter really good her face is kind of dodgy on this one but the rest of it is good the old one is, well, that's her with an even dodgier face. And it's the same thing. She's testing out the programs, but I, I, mean, I'm, I mean, I'm used to this art. Okay, I'm used to this, but I think this is better. Except it only works on programs and this is a console. It's a hardware, but whatever. I'll give it a A minus for effort there. Teaching aid. The maker's eye. Okay. What does this look like? Come on. Use your imagination. Looks like an electric virtual vagina. Okay. It just looks like it. I mean, I, I hope it's not supposed to look like it. But it does. <laughs> it looks like it. At least to me. <laughs> and there's this guy. Who has no idea what's he, what, what's he getting himself into? He's gonna have an adventure here, I can promise you that. The deal with this card is the Maker's Eye. You use it to sort of, let's say, peer into the future. Okay? You're 
accessing future cards that the corporation will get. Let's say it like that. And, well, this card does convey you're on the brink of discovery of something. Might be an electric vagina. Who knows? But you're on the cusp of discovery, and that's good about this art. But, this is the new art, and this is the old art. Now, the old art is a bit dodgy as well. It has, like, um, I don't know, kind of fuzzy face. The face is a bit weird. It sort of looks like Chaos Theory, but it's not. Uh, the hair is a bit buch here, and you've got this really weird green lights over here. But whatever, but look at it. Does this look like somebody who peers into the future? Yeah, she's got the eye, she's got the thingy here, and it's connected to her brain, and she's focused. And look at the flavor text. Some of the professionals have good instincts, but they can't see beyond the data. They can't see the matrix. This one does see the matrix. I mean, I guess this one also sees the matrix. Points go to the old art, just because it's... Ah, oh, hell, just because I'm used to it, okay? I'm used to this one. The personal touch. Deal with this card is you touch your program and then it becomes better. You're fixing it up. I'm gonna, since I'm gonna fix your program, you work better. And it works better, okay? You put this card in another program, it works better. And this art is good. It's really good. Has good detail, whatever. This is the new art, right? But the old one, well, let's say this. It looks dodgy, all right? It looks kind of eh, iffy. Her pose is sort of stiff. Her shoulder might be dislocated. Her boobs, whatever. The shading's weird, but this picture draws me in for some reason. Maybe it's the red color in the background. It's warmer. This is a warm picture. This is a cold picture. Warm, cold, yeah? I don't know. I like this one better, but I don't know why. Maybe her eyes have brainwashed me. I don't know. You'll be the judge. I'm gonna give it to the old one. To this one. This one I like better. This one's good too. Oh, oh boy. I am very upset with this card. Why? The Gordian Blade was one of the most powerful icebreaker decoders in the old game, back when it was young, okay? Does this look like a powerful blade? It's glowing, sure, but look, it's being choked to death. It's dying. It's fucking dying. This blade is dying. Does this look like a powerful blade? No, you, you know what looks like a powerful blade? Look, boom! Look at this. Look at it. Has the big spark in the middle. It's chopping straight down through the data. Now this is a powerful blade. It can slice through the thickest knots of data. No shit, Sherlock. Look at it. It's awesome. This is the old art, by the way. And it's brilliant. It's forceful. It's impactful. It conveys the message. Like this blade is doing business. This one is dying. Points go to the old all-nighter. The deal with this card is, well, it, it, it's, it's in the title, right? All-nighter. You're working all night, you're doing something, and then you're exhausted. It's an all-nighter. I don't care what the studies show. From my experience, I can ingest three cans of diesel an hour for up to 12 hours before going into cardiac arrest. Heard during the 11th hour. Does this picture convey the message? Hell yeah, it does. Hell yeah, look at this guy. Look. He's working. He's downing... How many? S his seventh energy drink that we can see. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I see a problem. This is daylight. It's an... Oh, it was an all-nighter. See, he worked through the night and it's daylight right now. Oh. Okay. This is the new art. And I like it. But, this is the old one. And look at this guy. Look. I mean, from the flavor text, you can say that he's sort of aloof, like, Ah, oh, I don't care, but what? I don't care what you tell me. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna down these diesels and I'm gonna do business. I'm gonna do business tonight. I don't care if it takes all night. And look at this. He's like flippant. He's like, I don't care. I don't care if I have a cardiac arrest. How many energy drinks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A bunch. A bunch of energy drinks. And look, where is he doing? He's in some shithole. In some hangar. This guy has actual freaking sunlight. This guy's far better off. This guy, this guy looks like he needs an all-nighter. Okay? This is all the old art, and points go to the old art. For character. <clears throat> now, Crypsis. Now, the deal with this guy is, this guy, this guy right here, he's an AI. Okay? And he's an icebreaker. He breaks ice. Okay? He's uh, artificial intelligence that is breaking the ice for you. Does this convey that? Yes, it does. Look at him. He's like, I'm gonna break this ice. I'm gonna do it for George. He depends on me. So I'm gonna break this ice. Even if it takes me a fucking month. This guy, he's really slow. This card is really slow and really inefficient. But he breaks ice. That he certainly does. This is the old art. This is the new art. I gotta ask, what is going on here? He's got vampire eyes. And he's turning into mist. He's floating in the ether. Ooh. What ice am I going to break? You have no clue. It might be the ice over here. It might be the ice over there. It might be your own ice. You'll never know. For I am mist. Ooh. I don't like it. This is more... A vampire. He's, he's gonna suck the ice dry. This one's gonna break it. This one's gonna suck it. I don't like this. Points go to the old. Armitage cold busting. Okay, this girl. This girl is gonna bust some code at Armitage. It's Armitage cold busting, son. Okay? Look. She's watching the thingy. She's got the kitty cat. She's gonna break some code. Okay? And it's good art. Look at it. It's got full of detail and crap like that. It's all quality-like. But, 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 one problem. The flavor text is the problem. Again, drudge work, but it pays the bills. Does this look like a person who's doing drudge work? No. She's enjoying herself. She is far too happy in this picture for this to be drudge work. Okay? So, let's look at the old one. Oh, hell yeah. This one. It's better. Of course it's better. The old one is usually the better. Why? Well, look. Well, look. You got the nice green background against her redness. A contrast. Look at her face. She hates herself. This is drudge work. She's killing herself because she needs this job. But she hates it. This is, this, this is a person who hates herself. And this card, therefore, is better based on human suffering. Points go to the old one. Underworld Contact. This is a bizarre card. This is bizarre art for the card. You see, the point of this card is you have an Underworld Contact that's supplying you money. But, I guess, uh, is this the Underworld Contact? Is this? I mean, look at look look at the old art. Look, this is your underworld contact, right? He's giving you money, right? But but he he also has his boss, so this is a contact, right? He, that's his boss, and the phone is like, ah, you get enough money, Jack. I like, no no boss, I haven't. Oh, okay, guys, you're gonna die. Okay, this is an underworld contact. This is an underworld boss. She's a boss. Look at her. She's smoking a cigar. She has to be the boss. She has bodyguards. And some people behind. This is the underworld contact. This is the contact. This is the boss. So, clearly, the focus has been missed in this card. So, points go to the old one. Okay. Okay. As I said, next up are the corporation cards. So, we'll... Make a break right here. I'll, I'll let you off the hook for now. All right. Go do your thing. 
We'll meet up again in roughly a week, and we'll do the rest. Okay? Rejuvenate thyself. Get your brain working. Think about the things you learned today. And I'll see you in a week, okay? 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 Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.